Hey there, it's great to see you all again. We hope you're doing super well. I know it's been a while since our last video, and the truth is, we've been busy like bees working on a number of huge projects for you. And the biggest one of all is the Spirit Science Human History movie number two. This is one of the biggest requests that we've heard from you since the first Human History movie came out. And the reason you haven't heard from us lately is because we've been putting all of our focus into finishing this project, as well as a few other little surprises we have in the works. Here's just a little bit of a teaser to show you a bit of what we're talking about. We've decided that we're actually going to be launching the world premiere of this video at our next trip to Rhythmia. And now we're gonna talk about this more momentarily, but first I'd like to take some time to give you a snapshot of what's going on behind the scenes. Essentially, a few months ago, we actually moved into the first ever Spirit Studios office. It's really exciting. We have this vision of a really fun animation studio where passionate friends work together and make spirit science. Right now, we currently have a small team of four and with the exception of several collaborations for the memes and articles you see on Facebook, everything we publish is done by this little team here. It's been a really long road to get here and we've still got a long way to go. As we've been establishing this little team, one of the things that happened with us was that we had been contacted by others who also ran conscious businesses. We learned that as a developing little community, relationships in all manner were important, but it was even more important to us that no matter what collaboration we formed, we had to prioritize creating really genuine value for you. One of the larger relationships that we developed has been with this place called Rhythmia. It's really interesting because when we published our video in Invitation of a Lifetime, we actually saw some frustration from people in response. Most of the upset seemed to derive from a lot of people feeling disappointed that we were promoting this experience which felt very exclusive and not something that everyone could attend. And we fully understand that frustration. However, there's a bigger picture that I really want to share with you. You see, Rhythmia is the world's first medically licensed plant medicine healing center, meaning that it's actually recognized as a medical healing retreat for people to come and do these sacred ceremonies as a means to treat their addiction, diseases, and transform their lives. This is a huge deal, considering that in most places of the world, entheogens are considered to be schedule one drugs with no medicinal value. Places like Rhythmia set the stage for the world to begin seeing that these substances do have medicinal value. And like with most medicines, they work as long as they're used within the proper guidance and setting. It also opens up the doors of discussion and makes it socially acceptable for us to publicly discuss the benefits of entheogens in general, from psilocybin to peyote cactus, and what the proper use of them is. The best analogy I can give you here is this. When the first computers were invented, they cost thousands upon thousands of dollars and were about the size of an entire office room. And what's more, they had maybe 16 kilobytes of data storage on them, if that. Yet over time, as people saw the value of these computers and more effort went into producing them, the hardware got smaller, faster, and much more affordable. This is a similar thing with Rhythmia. Outside of religious ceremonial practices, this is the first actual medical center and as such, it is recognized for its healing benefits in the world. The more and more we talk about it and spread the word, the more places like Rhythmia will be able to pop up all over the world. Now, I understand that for some, flying around the world to attend Rhythmia is not always an affordable option at this point. So please know that our promoting Rhythmia is not to suggest that this is the only option you have for this type of experience. If this is appealing to you, but you have a smaller budget, you might be able to find a better option for you closer to home. We wouldn't be pushing this so much if we didn't see extreme benefit to humanity, but we do. It's so tremendously valuable. We've been a bit busy with everything lately to pour ourselves into our ayahuasca documentary, but I do have some videos I wish to share with you. These are a few testimonials from Rhythmia that we took on our last trip, straight from those who emerged on the other side of a ceremony. Before I came here, my sisters never let me touch them. I would always kind of try and hug them, they'd like, go away. And like coming here, by the second day, I received the most hug that I've gotten from them in as long as I can remember. I found love. 
a big thing for me has always been love. I wanted to find a relationship. I wanted to, to have that partner in crime, that soulmate. But I was too terrified to really ask for that uh, because I just thought it couldn't happen. And on the second night of uh, ceremony, I crossed paths with one of the guys that I hadn't talked to during my stay and, uh, and I just knew. We had a beautiful moment, we had a beautiful conversation and I looked into his eyes and I saw all of his lifetimes and he saw that I could see that. We fell in love like this. It was just like a movie, like the movie that I always dreamt about. I realized that my pineal gland had been opened and I had this new awareness and this new I don't know how to explain it. It's like another sense that I didn't have before. All of a sudden, a new attuneness to to energy. When you walk in, you immediately feel just the love and care that everybody has. I mean, it's it's so genuine, and the shamans are just so there for you, 24/7. Um, I had a bad experience on Tuesday. Not bad. I had an experience I didn't expect to have on Tuesday, and I didn't understand the lesson. I didn't understand the meaning behind it because it wasn't what I asked for, but. Mother Oscar always gives you what you need, not what you want. And so, after talking to all the shamans, I came to this revelation that that's exactly what I needed, and that, you know, sometimes messages are shown to you in such a different way that you don't understand it, but with these experienced shamans and with their genuine love for you, they're able to guide you and kind of make sense of everything. So, mm. you just feel the trust and the love here. Plant medicine is a sacred gift from the heart of Mother Nature and one which can bring deep healing to so much of our suffering and trauma in the world. These medicines facilitate a deep reconnection between the soul and the body, and as a result, other illnesses, traumas, and addictions can find complete healing, and our consciousness ascends to higher levels of awareness. This is not to suggest that there are not other methods to do this. Devoting yourself to any spiritual practice will have profound effects, such as daily kundalini yoga, or a focused raw food diet. However, we have found that in our experiences, that plant medicine is one of the easiest ways to kickstart the healing process. And because it's been a taboo subject for so long, we feel it's our duty to help stir up the conversation in a healthy way. When used properly with respect and love for the shamanic tradition of our indigenous ancestors, it becomes a deeply powerful tool to bring healing to whatever challenge we face. With the advent of cannabis becoming legalized, and even more scientific research discovering the benefits of these medicines, such as the medicinal qualities of psilocybin. It's really important that we learn to treat them with the utmost of respect. And this is one of the most important things we found about Rhythmia, because every aspect of it has been carefully crafted with the highest love and respect for the medicine, the sacred space, and your healing. We have graciously been asked to return to Rhythmia. And as mentioned in the beginning, we will be premiering our new human history prequel in its entirety and discussing the historical theories of human origins and what it means for us today. We would absolutely love to see you there and support you in your epic transformation. The date of this next trip is October 28th to November 4th. After that, we'll also be returning on the week of February 10th to the 17th, where we'll be speaking on the subject of the path of the soul and probably showing some new special tarot videos as well. Finally, Rhythmia is having a very special LGBT week, which is taking place in November of 2019. We've been asked to attend and speak at this event as well. And for those who this resonates with, we really hope to see you there. And remember, regardless of when you go, if you mention that Spirit Science referred you when booking, you'll save $150 on your trip and part of your ticket will go to supporting our studio. Thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video. We have so much more on the way, so stay tuned and we'll see you again really soon. Promise.